Hi everyone, and welcome back to another episode of House of Ashes. I almost forgot what I was going to say then. Last time we made our way down to here, it seemed that everyone was still alive, although I'm not convinced that's going to last very long. So uh, let's get exploring down here. Finds Ledger 3, Van Houten. That it? Oh, you can open it. Okay, cool. Did you find a diamond? That looks like a giant diamond. Um, many finds in the temple confirm our hypothesis that the temple was used for sacrifice. We know that a century-long drought afflicted the, Aca the Acadian people? I still don't know how you pronounce that. The Acadian Empire. The same dry spell that affected the old kingdom in Egypt. The drought caused the abandonment of many cities across Mesopotamia and drew the Gutian, Gutian barbarian tribes down from the mountains to the plains, bringing them into conflict with the Akkadians. In this temple, we see evidence of an increasingly desperate attempt to turn the tide by appeals to the gods. Related finds. Black Onyx. Mesopotamia. Uh, the third period? I don't know if that was right. Onyx stones were symbolic of negative energy and of calamity. Perhaps due to the belief that evil... U U Udug? Demons inhabited the earth. Interesting. Um, R19, Hold Stone, Mesopotamian, uh, the third period. The stone shows figures praying towards an eclipse. Combined with R6, the piece portrays an eclipse that um, presages a disaster. Is that a word? I don't know. It's written there, so it must be. I don't know if I pronounced it right, but still. So that would be the eclipse we saw at the beginning of the game anyway, wouldn't it? In like the cutscene and whatnot. What is that? A cocoon? Looks like those things came from here. It's been it's like formaldehyde. So when did you become a scientist? They don't teach you American science at school. You should stay clear of it. What a good idea. So these are the chrysalises they've been talking about. Which I will stay away from, because... Seems wise. Belongs to Randolph Hodgson. Maybe he's got some intel that could help. I didn't help him. Bear in mind how long this has been down here, presumably. This looks like it's in remarkably good shape. All the pages are missing. Ah, shit. I mean, I understand why they put things down really, like, nice and neatly again, right? But in reality, you know he's just going to have thrown that back onto the ground. Is there nothing else we can look at? Apparently not. I wonder which one of them that was. Why do I feel like I recognize this? Mary Hodgson. She's 
got leaves why? Their story didn't end so well. Jason. What? I can't end up like this. Well, well none of us want to end up like this. So presumably that's Mary. But didn't Mary turn into one of the creatures? So maybe it's not. I don't know. When this temple falls, my wife and I will blank. I owe her that, at least. The portrait that I carry in my watch case is the Mary that I remember, not that blank. Yeah, because Mary turns, so maybe... Maybe that's not Mary. This was all Lady Bradshaw's doing. She knew all along what was down here. She led us to them. I found her below, hunched over the murdered corpse of Van Hoyten. As she turned to face me, I saw that she had changed. My hand fell to the closest weapon I could find. Iron tent peg. I stabbed her with the metal, impaling her in the heart. She died. Unholy screams echoed from deep below, as if answering the sudden release of blood. Well, that was creepy. So. That's probably Van Huysen then. And he probably drops the watch when he was getting rid of Lady Bradshaw. We are being judged. God is punishing us all for the mistakes we've ever made. Zane is all I have left in this world. After my wife left us, I gave him my all. I wanted him to have everything I didn't. Single parent. It's a fucking gay. It is. But my boy has made me very proud. He's going to London, to university. If only he would stop stealing. Your conscience clear, Jason. Um, let's be honest. Let's talk about the checkpoint. Green zone. Checkpoint. What checkpoint? Nick and I. We were caught in traffic. Checkpoint had been hit before by suicide bombers. There was a woman. She was carrying a bag. Fuck. 
Tell me. I ordered... I ordered for her to stop, loud and clear, but she didn't. She just kept on walking. I, uh... I had to make a call. Nick... He shot her dead. What was in the bag? Groceries. I don't understand. Why didn't she stop? She didn't hear me. She had fucking headphones on. This, this bullshit, I'm not here to honor the dead. Truth is, my life was going nowhere fast. I jumped at the chance to sign up. We all have our reasons. They don't have to be profound. <laughs> profound, huh? No towers were hit. Now it's stoned out of my fucking skull. I didn't even hear about it until a week later. How's that for profound? I don't even know what the fuck I'm doing here. You're serving your country. That woman had a family, friends. She had her whole life in front of her, and we snuffed it out with a single bullet. I mean, what the fuck? I can hear you thinking. We're waiting for something to happen. Maybe we should take the initiative and make something happen. What do you have in mind? We go inside there, and we find a way to hurt them. Those fucking things tried to fuck with our heads. They tried to kill us. But you and I, we're both standing. Start believing, Salim. We're gonna get out of here see the sun again. Is that what you truly believe? Hoorah! What on earth is that sound? It's a marine thing. Oh. So, does that make me a marine too? Let's not get ahead of ourselves, huh? Okay. Hey. Whatever happens out there, I've got your back. We'll stand together. It's the only way. I'm glad these guys are uh, friends more now. Those things in here look like spaceships though, like space rockets. Which is interesting. It's definitely a very alien vibe, especially bearing in mind when this would have been... When this would have arrived originally. During, like, the Akkadian period. I still don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Is that thing alive? I hope not. Yeah, it's all very advanced looking technology for the time period that. The temple was built. Stay close. Pretty 
for a second, I didn't think I'd... This gotta be where those things come from. I think so. Question is, where the hell are they? I'm hoping they're nearby. Um. Yeah, I didn't think I was in control for a second then because I couldn't move the camera. The moths is everywhere. Is it just me or is it alive? I'm just waiting for something to jump out at us. Celine, over here. What do you make of it? This place could have been down here for thousands of years. God didn't make these creatures. No. It's possible we've got this wrong way around. What's that supposed to mean? Maybe we were intruding on them. Wait, check this out. <laughs> Sounds like music. That don't sound like any music from where I'm from. Okay, maybe not music. Could be uh, a language. You've seen those motherfuckers, they're not exactly the chatty type. We shouldn't underestimate them. Look at this place. Those things are intelligent. That they are. And not in a good way. I suppose we're headed down here, are we? Okay. this thing that was clearly operating it the bit like the bit right there probably for its feet and its arms do something up there sleep check this out it's one of those creatures only older ancient you don't think it's alive do you touch it Touch it, pussy. This seems like a terrible idea. So these things have been here for ages. But they have like advanced looking technology. They must be aliens. Oh, this is one of the guys from the beginning. What should we do? 
We can't leave him like this. Well, shit. She had enough time to get used to it. Are you serious? Oh. I know she will attract the vampires. I'll do it. That did seem like the right thing to do. It's interesting I didn't get a choice in the matter. This area's been too calm though. That's what I don't like about it. You'd expect them to all be here and... But we've seen no indication of the creatures... ...alive down here. Try not to stand on that stuff. <coughs> right, where to now, guys? I'm guessing we're not going into the giant hole, but... Oh, it's very creepy down here. I do like the fact that nothing too dangerous has happened, though. Gives you a time to recover. Sleep. What is it? I think we hit the mother load. So I have to sneak through here without setting any of those things off to me, I'm guessing. Let's see if we can manage it. It's going to be difficult because seeing is not the easiest thing in the world to do. Because it is dark. Very, very dark. Still headed that way. So Liam's just wandering around willy nilly. Fair enough. I 
I'm assuming this green stuff's okay. Can I get around here? Sure can't. I don't see a path forward that isn't. Oh, is it this? I guess this is a different green stuff. Okay. Do you reckon I can sneak through there? Let's follow Selim. I can only assume that went well then. I'm not sure, but the assum the assumption would be I did okay. Take this out. They died fighting each other. Dogs fighting over food. Don't make sense. I thought these things were a pack, trained, disciplined. And why would they fight each other? Every living thing on Earth finds a reason to fight its own. He was just saying something. Oh well. I waited a second to see if they'd finished. He didn't say anything, so I closed out of it. And just as I press the button, Jason starts saying something. Are we hiding or running? Or fighting? I suppose that is an option too. on the other side then. Oh my, okay. Shit, Nicky. You turned up like the fucking cavalry. I thought you were dead. Not my time. Girl, you made it. Man, crawling through that tunnel was a highly unpleasant experience. Good to see you again, ma'am. Take my hand. I'm glad you're here, man. This place. Yeah, it's creepy looking. I'm kind of surprised everyone's still alive. What is this place? We 
We need a plan. Fuck those things up and get the fuck out. Good plan. Sergeant K, what do we got left? So we got um eight clips of 556 FMJ, three 40 mil high X rounds, a couple of nine mil pistols, four clips between them. We'll make that work. Huh. Plus two phosphor rounds. And one block of composition C4. What about the UV lamp? Took a knock, but I can fix it. Just need a minute. All in is not enough. We've also got this. Ah, it's old, unpredictable. We work with what we got. Now fuses are shot, but we can use the C4 to detonate them. Let's just hope they still back a punch. The vampires come from those cocoons. You saw how many there were in that vault? There could be thousands in there. Should we blow them up? Burn as many of those motherfuckers as we can and head for the surface. What do you think, Sergeant? Ooh, rah. I'm not gonna allow him to carry a pistol. We are way past that point now, ma'am. We stand together as one. Still got that med kit. Now'd be a good time to use it. Looks like a bitch. I gotta stop the bleed. I forgot I had the med kit. Looks like our explorer friends are here too. We should search this place before we move out. There. Got it. Okay, so I will explore this place at the beginning of next episode and see what secrets this chamber holds and if it'll help us beat the vampires and get out of here. If you enjoyed this one, hit the like button below and let me know what you thought in the comments and join us next time for the next one.